Welcome back to the part C of lecture 12. In this video, we are going to start K-class classification. To understand the K-class classification, we, will, we are going to consider Irish flower data set. It's an English flower, Irish, and it has three subspecies. One is Irish flower, Irish versicolor. Second is Setosa and the third is Virginica. Now, obviously, uh, it's this is the sepal and this is the petal. This this is the pe sepal and this is the petal. Now of the flower. So what they have done? They have um, in this uh, in this. Uh, data set they have taken the petal width and petal length and then similarly uh, sepal width and sepal length so these are the value that are being collected for uh, for different uh, flowers and based on these flowers we have to say whether it's like you know it just how the data set looks like the for a particular flower say uh, sepal length is 5.1 sepal width is 3.5 uh, and based on the et suppose setosa and then we call it group one it belongs to group one we label it as a group one similarly there is another which has a sepal length of seven sepal width of seven 3.2 you have fatal length, you have a petal width, you have a petal length, petal width, and that belongs to versicolor, and we call it where it belongs to group two. So that's how it's been uh, collected. Now that's how the data looks like. So now the, our job is to classify this data, I mean, create a classification technique, and for a new data point, say this is a new data point okay i am i don't know suppose this is a new data point would you like to classify it as a setosa or is it going to be a versicolor or is it going to be a virginica so for this new uh, point test point and a flower which got this value sepal length and sepal width what kind of classification which class you would put it so <coughs> suppose what we can do now given the that you know given the features of the species setosa i can create a sub set of the data similarly uh, given the feature of the subspecies versicolor, I can just create a subset of uh, species of, of the data and similarly I can create a subset of the data for where all the features, all the species are virginica. So we can assume that, that xk uh, follows joint probability distribution with some PDA probability density function fkx. Okay, now given a test point, we want to classify then new flower into one of the three species. Okay, so so given a test point, which species it belongs to. So now you can imagine, given the species, I can try to think of these points, blue points belongs to have their own probability distributions, which is setosa. The brown points, all the brown points, which are virginica, have their own probability distribution. And the red points, which are versicolor, it has its own distribution and so i can think of this distribution classify 
these distributions and based on these distributions I can try to make a, a analysis we call it discriminant analysis now suppose if kx is the class conditional density of x class x in class g equal to k so that means if you go here and see that this a particular distribution we will call it f1 x this is another distribution we will call it f2 x and this is another distribution the red one so let me use a different color here so it is f 1x is the distribution of all the setosa and then if 2x is all cl conditional plus conditional distribution for versicolor okay this is and this is for virginica okay virginica okay now once you get this class conditional density you suppose pi k be the prior probability distribution of class k and sum of the pi k is 1 then you just use Bayes theorem and you can compute probability of g equal to k given x for new data point I only know the x I don't know which class it belongs I'm just can, given the data point can I compute the probability of that the point belongs to class k that's just apply the base theorem f k x times pi k divided by sum of the f k f l x uh, pi l in terms of ability to classify having f k x is almost equivalent having quantity probability of g equal to k given x equal to x so when we classify so this point if we want to classify when we plug it in what we found that the probability the class conditional probability or base probability is uh, 0.861 for setosa 0 0.029 for versicolor and 0 0.110 for virginica so this point belongs to virginica with probability 0.110 it belongs to versicolor with probability 0 0.029 and it belongs to setosa with probability 0.861 so most likely this point is setosa so many techniques are there uh, to model fkx now question is how do i model fkx there are many techniques are there to model fkx uh, linear discriminant linear and quadratic discriminant analysis uses gaussian density one can use finite mixture models one can use you know non-parametric density estimation models a lot of models we can use but in this course we will just use assume gaussian densities and we will only stay keep ourselves within the linear and quadratic discriminant analysis so you can try some advanced modeling but for this we first we will check linear discriminant analysis so if you model uh, class density as multivariate Gaussian and then for each class if you assume this particular thing like you know for each class covariance matrix is same this is basically homoscedasticity assumption then the resulting solution will be linear discriminant analysis okay now um, so we want to suppose compare class uh, two classes k and l let's look at the ratios if you just look at the ratios and if you can see that this pi k and pi l is already known to us and mu k mu l sigma inverse these are all known to us so this entire first two term is completely 
sort of a parameter driven so you can write it as sort of a this part is alpha and then x transpose sigma inverse this mu k minus mu l is sort of a x transpose beta kind of thing so this is my beta so you got so this ratio you are writing it as a alpha plus x transpose beta so this is why it's this methodology is called linear discriminant analysis now if you do uh, this linear discriminant analysis will give you a decision boundary between classes k and l and these decision boundaries are turns out to be linear we will see about it in few slides and from the above linear discriminant analysis you can come up with the uh, decision boundary like this and base decision rule is just basically for each arc max of the delta k x so this is the best decision boundary so linear for this particular linear discriminant analysis we came up with a sort of a, this was the so anything in this region will be uh, effectively on the virginica linear discriminant analysis was giving us virginica this was versicolor versicolor and this is setosa okay so that is linear discriminant analysis in practice we do not know the parameters of the gaussian distribution so you need to estimate from the training data so how you do that pi k you can just take the frequency like proportion of the data points that belongs to class k mu k is simply sample mean and covariance matrix is simple sample covariance matrix these estimates are all maximum likelihood estimates so you can use it so quadratic discriminant analysis is when if you assume sigma k are not equal to sigma and for each class you are going to compute the covariance matrix at that time resulting solution will be qda or quadratic discriminant analysis and decision boundary is slightly complicated but it is not impossible now what happens uh, you can handle it i have taken this figure from uh, hesti and tipshirani's book james witten hesti and tipshirani's book so this that's this is how the linear discriminant analysis looks like and this is how the quadratic discriminant analysis looks like this so they are trying to model a three class problem like the one we are doing with the irish data set and they showed that how a discriminant analysis will behave and how a uh, uh, linear discriminant analysis will behave the decision boundary is like quadratic in for qda and decision boundary is a linear in lda So thank you very much see you in the next video with hands on